I am really lucky because today is a wonderful day with magnificent weather. The neighbors on this side they don't have a garden party and the neighbors on that side they don't drive around with mowers. And the most important maybe is that the rooster keeps quiet. Which means that everything goes well. So let's make something. For example these two pointers. And of course will indicate here on the dial how much of the how much just and according to these very well made plants uh, link in description this one has a thickness of two millimeters and the other one has a thickness of three millimeters that of course I don't have but I have this 2.5 millimeter hard steel that I tried to use for the bracket and that of course failed but whatever. 2.5 which means for one of the pointers it's a little bit too much and for the other one a little bit not enough. I made the outlines of the smallest pointer. This one is 54 millimeter in length. And to make it easier to show the problem there is, I made it a little bit bigger on the blackboard. The width of one point here, of course the other one here too, one millimeter. To give you a bit perspective, this is a piece of wire, 1.5. So this even smaller than this little thing. That of course I have to machine out of, it's not really hard steel but it, it's, uh, it's hard steel. So the challenge is of course to hold this. I can put it in a vise and cut out this part, no problem. But when I start the other side I have to hold it on less than one millimeter thickness here. So the jaws of my, my vice should be over here somewhere. That's not gonna work. But I have maybe a solution for it. If I use this piece of uh, leftover scrap uh, something and I make a pocket to hold my part here. So first I will cut off one side, make it to size. And then I can bolt it. I have one cute little bolt here that I can use. Bolt it and then it's pushed against the side of the pocket. And then I can milling machine the other side. And to first rough it out, I think the shaper will make a quick job out of it. The thing is a little bit too small to do it on the belt sander. The belt sander will be even faster. But I don't really know how to hold it and this thing is gonna be really really hot. So shaper. Just a moment please. I had the shaper completely set up and ready to start cutting. And that's where I thought maybe it's a good idea to first drill this center hole. Now it's uh, still easy to hold my part in place because when it's cut out it's a bit small. So first to first drill that hole. Good idea.
Right, half of the part is done and now let's make a hold the thing in place device. Hold down system ready to go. So now let's see if it holds. I think it doesn't look too bad. It's just that there's not much contrast between the dial and the pointer. So maybe what I could do is to make it blue with a little bit of heat. But we'll see. First let's make the other one. I made the outlines of my pointer thing here that uh, I suppose you can see because I can hardly see, but okay. And I also drilled the holes. This one is a M3 and this is an 8mm just true hole. And I suppose now you expect me to invent some fantastic hold down idea to cut out this part. But I think I have an easy solution. This little hole here is meant to hold a handle. This thing is really small, it's only 10 mm high and 6 mm wide. Let's make one. This little bar is exactly 6 mm, so that's what I need.
First I had a little bit difficulties installing the screw that's inside here and then I figured out why. I forgot to thread the... Ah, but after tapping the thread as you can see now it works and combined with the dial something like this Again, there is not much contrast, but we will figure something out. 